Andrew here, Sterilizer Autoclave Solutions, 704-966-1650, option three for free technical support, or you can find us on the web at statumusa.com. Okay, so uh, we do a lot of troubleshooting videos here, mid-March specifically, uh, but right now I'm gonna show you how to put the cover back on of a Midmark new style, either M9 or M11. It's the same process, the M11 is just a little bit bigger. Okay, so um, we have this thing down to bare bones. We were inside of the unit cleaning the reservoir as part of maintenance. So to put everything back together properly, first, we're gonna have to get the, the rubber gasket. That goes over the reservoir. Make sure you don't have any tools left inside or any cleaners, any rags, anything like that. Okay, so we put that rubber on, now we got the plastic piece, it only goes on one way. We got two little lips here, they fit here. So slide this bad boy on there, make sure it's on even. If it's, if it's cockeyed, then the cover, this top cover might not fit properly. So, okay, so after we put that on, we're gonna take this copper coil here. This is how it goes from the back, like that. Slide it in place. If you start at an angle, you can get it kind of under here. And then these two pieces fit into two nip, two rubber uh, grommets over here. So put one in, put the other in. Be careful not to push the rubber grommets down into the reservoir. I got this all set up. Let me slide this over. I left the panel hooked up. But see, one's in. I'm manipulating it to get the other one in. If you push too hard, then you can push the rubber grommet in. It's not the end of the world, but just annoying. Okay, so that we got that rubber thing on, or the, the copper tubing on. So now this is the copper tubing bracket. It goes like this. Um, make sure again. What's going on? here okay so make sure when you dis when you take this apart you save this screw it's specifically for this part of the reservoir that's a phillips screwdriver it can be uh annoying the way they set up sometimes but let's go here don't lose the screws don't drop them down in what i'm trying not to do screw it into place here get it through the hole okay we did it, we did it. All right, so you can screw that in place. All right, so next I would go to the back panel and the top cover. So get your top cover ready, get your back panel ready. These are the screws for the back panel. So I'm gonna start with one screw. I'm gonna bring this back up. Again, we got your wires here. If it needs to be reconnected, you're gonna have to reconnect it. Okay, so we'll start with the middle one. Put the screw through the hole. Hook it into that little grabber there, Phillips screwdriver, hold it up at the same time, and then screw it in. Okay, now, now what I'm doing, I'm continuing to hold this thing, and now we're gonna put the top cover on. You can take the top cover, I'm gonna put it up like so, I'll come and swing this around for you. Put it on like so. Okay, so now you got to make sure this sits on a certain way. There's a uh, little, there's little rubber stoppers there that once you go to put it on, it, it'll sit into place and it won't move, it won't slide around. Right now, it's not moving or sliding around. Oops. Okay, so now we, I'm gonna, we're gonna put the, we're gonna screw the, these two together first. That way, it's, it holds together, and we can easily do the side panel. So we got one screw in here. You have to line up the holes, fill up screw. Okay, you don't have to necessarily put that in all the way, but just don't forget to screw it in. Then we can go, now we can go back to here, put this screw in. Okay, so now we got the front and the top on. All right, so from there, probably what I would do, so we don't forget, let's put hook this back up. Again, this is a Phillips screw right here. I'm gonna back it out a little farther. Um, if you can see in the video, there's a key ring. And I'm gonna slide this down so that the screw goes in the key ring, then I'm gonna screw it in from the other side. So I'm gonna slide it down. I know where it's positioned. Then I'm gonna take my Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna need a longer screwdriver. I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, so we've tightened this screw down so that our key ring is lined up. 
Now you see I can't pull this up all the way, but if I do pull it, it's attached. So that's very important for the safety valve to be able to hooked up like that. Okay, so from here, let's, um, let's do the left side panel. All right, so obviously grab your left side panel. You want this to be facing towards the front. We got, we got this to keep in mind here. You also got these little interlocking tabs. They kind of go underneath here. Um, okay, as you saw before, I dropped this. This, this little piece here goes right in there. There's two little slots that it just slides into. Slide that in place there. Okay, that's in place. Fits nice and snug. Usually not that difficult, but anyways, okay, so we got the two interlocking tabs down here. We got this screw back here. Usually I try to get one screw in the top done first. So as you saw, I lifted it up. Um, also want I want this piece outside of the back. So I slide it in like there, slide it here so it's on the outside of the back. I'm lifting up right now so those interlocking tabs are in. I'm paying attention to this so it's going to line up in the front. And then I'm going to, oh, 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 that'll happen, that'll happen. And I'm holding it from the bottom, now I'm going to slide it, try and slide it in right underneath the top cover. If it's not in properly, if you're getting caught on anything, it'll, it'll let you know. As you can see, I'm getting caught here. Okay, I'm gonna go back here, readjust this. That's good, okay, so that's in good. Now we can see that, okay, that's good. All right, so now when I put this in, I won't run into that. So, get it up here like so. Okay, look at that. Like a glove, um, just screw one screw in. Again, you wanna make sure that's good, that's good, because anything not installed properly will catch on the front door and then we run risk of damage there. I'm holding this in place, I'm kind of holding it upward so those interlocking tabs stay hooked up and then I'm screwing this Phillips down nice and snug. Don't over torque it. These are, they're plastic underneath here, they crack all the time and then they're attached to this and it's just annoying. Okay, so I got one screw in the front here. Now I'm gonna go to the back here. Uh, these got lock washers on there, so they're shorter. Take it in there, screw that bad boy in. Nice and easy. Okay, so then I can come over here and I can tighten this screw. You know, at any point these holes don't line up, you might just have to loosen one, loosen one. Don't all the way loosen it, oh, just loosen it a little like that so that it can move around fully, you can get wiggling into place and it doesn't fall out. But then, you know, just if you need to manipulate it, sometimes you tighten all the screws down, you, you know, you're tight in some areas and not long enough in other areas. So we got two screws there. We got two screws here. We just set up, we set up the pressure relief valve already. Finally, where our main PC board goes. Okay, so we now are gonna hook up the, the top cover. Uh, so we have a printer port. We're gonna hook that up here. The printer goes there. Not all models have this, by the way, so this particular one does. Um, then we're gonna take this, this uh, digital, or the ribbon cable here for the digital display right here. See how there's a little stump there that lines up with the Molex connector here. You push that into place, then you wanna make those, sure those little tongs are grabbing it. Then you can take that and kind of push it behind the PC board. And then you have your um, grounding for your display up here. There's a connector in there, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it, but I got it loose now, popped out, it just slides into place, like so. Clicks into place, good to go. And then I would make sure that it's like that. We wanna make sure all wires are tucked in. Oh yeah, we gotta hook up the fan again. The blue goes on the right, white goes on the left. Hopefully you took pictures when you took the cover off. All right. Last but not least is the right side panel. Goes on the same way as the left side panel. You got your two tabs. You got this here. Make sure these are in place. You got older models, they fall off and break and all kinds of stuff. So, but anyways, you're gonna interlock those tabs. Again, we're holding on the bottom. We're gonna try and fit it underneath the top cover without the bottom falling out. You got the line up here, line up here. Okay, we're in. I'm gonna grab, do this front one, because this looks like the most problem area. Okay, we finally got it into its spot. You gotta get one tight, then, then most of it, though, pretty much the whole thing will stay in place. If you get one of these screws tight, then you can relax. 
you know, push and manipulate as you need to. Tighten it. Again, we're not over tightening it. Basically, just a little quarter turn. Don't get too crazy. It's plastic. So then finally, you got your back screw. Tighten that back up. And then you've just installed your top cover, side panels. Oh, yeah. Okay. One more screw. Sorry. Boom, boom. Don't forget that. Screw it in there, pushed it in, the hole's lining up, tightening that down. Okay, so then you have now uninstalled and then reinstalled your top cover, your left and right side panel, and your back cover while getting to your reservoir. So if you like this video, please share it. Um, please also subscribe to our channel for and stay tuned for more Midmark troubleshooting videos.